Well, Mammoth Mountain wrapped up the skiing and snowboarding season on Memorial Day. And while, let's face it, it was another disappointing season snow-wise, we know a lot of people enjoyed getting their turns in. Sarah Media's Rob Gill was on scene for the finale. Yeah, we just want to thank everyone for a great season. It definitely had its ups and downs, but May was a really wet month and we got some great snow the past couple of days and the last run, it was awesome. Season's been fantastic this year. One of the best seasons I've had in a long time. Even with the lack of snow? Even with the lack of snow, it just makes for different terrain and just a different, different mountain ski. I'm going up for the last run of the season. Last day on the mountain, we had our annual last run from the top, complete with a mammoth beanie giveaway and some live music up there. It was the usual snowball fight. Everyone was going crazy. Is the last run of the season particularly dangerous? Uh, a little bit. You know, you got people throwing snowballs at you. You got some sticky snow, but it's just as fun as it is dangerous. Yeah, at the top of the mountain for our annual last run, we had a ton of people up there. Yeah, today may have been the last day for skiing and riding, but as of Friday, the bike park is open with 15 trails. And since we've had some moisture the past couple of days, the dirt is fantastic. It's kind of the best that you can get it right now. It's quiet up here. The trails are riding awesome. Ton of terrain open. If you're looking for bike park tickets or season passes, go to mammothmountain.com. It'll be on the homepage. Bike park passes are $3.99 and day tickets right now are $41. July 14th through 19th this year, we have the USA Cycling National Championships, which is going to bring a ton of people to Mammoth. Some of the best riders in the country are going to be here. And in addition to that, we have the Kamikaze Bike Games are coming back. Mammoth Wine Weekend is going to be here. It should be a busy summer. Are you bummed that the season's coming to an end? Yes. But that's okay, because uh, it's a cycle and it comes back. All right, please, Mother Nature, bring us some more snow next season. And thousands of people, as well as mules and horses, enjoyed the 46th annual Mule Day celebration. Deb Murphy was on hand for Sierra Wave. <laughs> Justin Boot Company, Boot Farm, the world's largest Western retailer, and Boyd Gaming, Las Vegas, Nevada. It's fun night at the Mule Days. For those of you that have been with us for a day or two, a week or two, a year or two, maybe 10 years. You know what we do on Sunday night. We have a large time. But since we have the opportunity and all of you are here, some of you are standing, why don't we all do it together? Gentlemen, if you'd remove cover. Perfect circle. That's where life starts. It's also where life ends. Never wanted to be a philosopher. Dang sure never gonna make it as a preacher. But I've read what a few prophets have written. Learn to believe it. How's y'all's life tonight? Good? Thank you. 
That's what the dancing people are. It's been 23 years to figure it out. They still like this song. My God. I remember Bob Danner writing this thing for many, many years. Up till a couple of years ago. Well, they took his mule away, but they ain't got his driver's license no. yet. He's got a driver's license, but no mule. One of the founding fathers. Pivot. Bleak. There you go, buddy. Look at the old turtle run. Yeah. Boy, that meal's got some reach. Woo! Ah. Oh, look at that. Back. Heads up in the back. I guarantee you what, yeah. California, somebody will get her stop when she gets to Lone Pine. Now she's got to stop in Hawaii. <laughs> Here's the red team, Miss Tammy Mantrell. Look at that! Yeah! Out of girl town! Whoa! Let's do this. <laughs> We've saw him ride him Roman style without the harness. Tonight you're gonna get to see him in the full again, just like in the parade. And these beautiful fur drums, they are awesome. Tammy, that was great, man. Cool. I loved it. Tell me the day are. They're designed after these old wagons from years ago. They were the backbone of America, hauling freight not only in North America, but all over the world. And here's Jason putting through the maneuvers. Now, you wouldn't see an 18-wheeler the same length as this. There's no way they could turn in the same radius that this team is turning right now. Imagine a truck and trailer trying to do this. Huh? Look at that. All right, thanks to Deb Murphy for getting video, not only from last week, but also uh, for this week's uh, newscast. We thank Catherine Hurdle for editing today's piece, and uh, last week's piece was edited by our good friend Chris Replogle. Thank you to all. And we will be off from TV news next week, but you can see the Mule Days Parade during our news time on Sierra Wave TV3. Hope you tune in for that. And a reminder, the inaugural Mammoth Lakes Film Festival starts tonight, runs through Sunday. You can see mammothlakesfilmfestival.com for all the information.